everyone, it's Miss Tabitha again, and I'm in my home bringing the library to your home. I hope you're all doing well, and um, today I'm bringing to you some more activities for you and your elementary school age student. So uh, earlier this week we did a Star Wars Day Build Challenge, and today I have a doodle challenge for you. Um, it's a nature doodle challenge, so part of this is to go outside and find some things to doodle. So um, today I went on a walk quickly outside and um, found a leaf. Um, I found some um, herbs in my backyard. I found some flowers and I even found a stick. So I gathered those on my walk, put them in my pocket and brought them back home um, to do this doodles. So the supplies that I used, I used markers and I used colored pencils and um, I even used watercolors. You can also just use a paper and pencil. Um, so there's lots of different options for this for this activity. Um, if you want, you can um, even check out some books from the library. We now have Drive Up available to everybody, so if you wanna put some books on hold, you can pick them up at the drive through window, some physical books. Um, you can even look at some of our eBooks that are online um, to read some more about doodling, to get you know super simple or basic um, instructions, and then also to get really more complex. So you'll see um, a quick video of my doodles, and I hope that you enjoy watching that. And basically, the way that I um, doodle, I usually look quickly at the, the object. I set it next to my, um, or on my sketch pad so I can kind of see the outlines of it. And I um, look at the light and where, where the light is hitting the object and kind of doodle the dark and the light um, based on that. So sometimes I just doodle the inside and cut or do an outline too. So um, based on what, what you would like to do today, um, you can kind of choose. So in the first illustration or the first sketch, I did a line drawing, um, which kind of just brings one line together. Um, I lifted my pen a couple times, so it's not an exact line drawing. And then I also did a watercolor of it and a colored pencil so you can see the, two, the three different variations of the sketches. Um, so I hope you enjoy and I hope you're challenged to do something creative with the things that you find on your walk. Um, we'll have more activities throughout the month of May. I hope you're doing well and again if you'd like to share any of these activities with the library you can tag them on Instagram or Facebook and even Twitter. So we'd love to see what you're creating. I hope you guys are well and I hope you have a good day.